Hi, I'm Erin, and this is my co-star, Sayola. And today on Cook It Up, we are going to be making some nice thick brownies with icing. Okay, so what you're going to need is two sticks of butter. Don't worry, we won't use them all. One cup of white sugar. And let's see, two eggs. Only two, you don't need two packets. <laughs> One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let's see, we also need some unsweetened cocoa powder. And all purpose flour. And the last thing you'll need is salt. And for the frosting, you are going to need the rest of the butter that you're gonna need the cocoa powder again. You're also going to need honey, more vanilla extract, and confectioner's sugar. All right, so let's go. and 175 degrees Celsius. So then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take half a cup of butter and there's actually a whole lot easier way to measure your butter. So you're gonna take one stick of butter and on the back of it will be a little chart and you'll see it has like the measurements on it. So you're going to want to look and find half a cup of butter and that just happens to be the whole stick of butter. So let's see. You're going to also need a saucepan to melt it in. You don't need a small one or a large one. You just want to get a medium saucepan that you would use to cook eggs. About this size. Okay, so you're going to want to put this on just low heat. And then just drop your butter in. And we're just going to let that melt. Okay, so now that our butter is all nice and melted, we're going to take it. And, and put our butter into this bowl. Ooh, that's nice, that's good. Next thing you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to put your cup of sugar in. And then you're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So let's see, this here is a, oh, this is hard, here. So this here is one teaspoon. So we're just going to pour this in. Right. The next thing we're going to need to do is start stirring this. You're gonna just wanna stir, stir, stir until it's all into a thick kind of pasty thing. And we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is what your batter so far should look like. It's nice and pasty. And so then you're going to take your flour and you're going to mix this in. Make sure you get all of your flour out. And then you're going to take your one third cup of cocoa powder and you're gonna put that in as well. Also, you need to make sure that this gets all out because that's the main part of your brownies. And then a quarter teaspoon, I mean, tablespoon of salt. Okay, so after your batter is all mixed, you're gonna notice this is a little too dry to be a brownie. So you're going to add your two eggs in. Now be very careful about getting no shell. All right, so I've just got a little bit of shell in there. So if you do get shell in there, just be very careful and pick it out. All right, so I'm gonna put your other egg in. Pick up the shell. All right, perfect. So now we're just gonna mix. This is what your batter is going to look like. I recommend using a whisk to beat in the eggs. So that's perfect, looks so much more like a batter. 
And also for a little optional step, which I personally love, is to add a half a cup of chocolate chips. Just like sprinkle them in and stir it up. This is a lot of chocolate chips. You can use as many as you'd like. But we found that half a cup is the perfect amount. Okay, so we're just gonna set our batter aside for now. And so we're next step is going to be putting it in the pan. But first we have to spray it down. So you wanna do that? Let's see, so. Alright, and just gonna so you can also use butter, but we prefer to use the spray because it's just easier. And after we put all of our mix in and we put our thing in the oven, we are going to start on the icing. That's gonna be so amazing. So this is the, like the best brownies ever. So you're, apart from greasing it, you're also going to need to get flour in there. So I recommend using a, a little strainer just so that you don't get too much in there. So there we go. But if you don't have one that is totally okay. I'm getting this all over me. All right. And then finally, we are going to pour our mix in. All right, so I recommend using a spatula to do this. All right, do you want to do the spatula? Sure. Okay, so since this batter is not easy to spread, you're just gonna to wanna to take a regular spoon and just kind of scrape your edges and just kind of smooth it out so that you cover the most of the pan. Okay, and then once you got that all done, just feel free to take a little bit. Okay, so we are just going to put this in the oven. So then you're just gonna put this in the oven and close it all up. And so let's get started with our frosting. Okay, so our brownies are in the oven and we're just gonna leave that in for 35 minutes. And while we're doing that, let's start on the icing. So we're gonna start with our honey and we just need one tablespoon of honey. And this is gonna take a while to come out because as you know, honey is very sticky. Okay, so now all of the honey is out, so we're gonna put in three tablespoons of cocoa powder and if you need to, you can use a spoon, but I like to just scoop it into the into the can. Just so that like when you're doing this, it doesn't get out. Can I see? Sure. So, and Oops. after your cocoa powder, we're going to put in the one cup of sugar. So let's do that. Perfect. Just dump it right in. And, okay, so now we're going to use our vanilla extract. <clears throat> we only need one teaspoon of this. So let's put that in. Perfect. And then you're gonna need to use the sputter. So you have to leave it out a little bit so it gets soft. It's supposed to be warm butter, so if it, it just softened. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna use our little measuring chart again. So where, where it says right here, three tablespoons, that's exactly where you want to cut it. It doesn't matter if the wrapper is on stuff. And just cut it and then peel off the wrapper. All right, so here we've got our nice soft butter. And you can just put that in and then we're just gonna start mixing it. Okay, so let's see. You, we used our hands at first in our spoon, but we figured that you actually should use a mixer for it. And it should be strong enough to put into a little ball like this. So our brownies are almost done and we will be right back whenever they are so we can put our frosting on and we also 
also have some nice sprinkles. So looking forward to that. Okay, so our brownies are done. They look good. So let's just take them out. Make sure you set them on a cooling rack because you don't want to burn your baking surface. All right, these are very hot, so let's just let them cool for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, so once you have all your brownies nice and out of the pan, you just make sure your hands are clean, take one out. And we have three types of toppings here. We have some sprinkles, chocolate chips that we used in the brownies, and some frosting. Now these are totally optional, but for the frosting, it's just, a little thick, so be careful. You just take some, you kind of like just spread it around your fingers and then you put it on because you want to make sure that it don't like go on the brownie. Yeah. So Zayola is going to show you how to make your brownie look beautiful. So you're going to take a portion like Erin has showed you. Make sure that it's not too big. So like this for the size of the brownie right now is probably a little too big. And you're going to just flatten it out. And if you want your frosting to be a little more like frosting or icing, basically all you have to do is let it sit out more and then it will become more smooth and soft and way easier to put on. So once you put your icing on, you can smooth it out or just leave it however you like. And then you can put some sprinkles on, however amount that you want, and then some chocolate chips on top, and then you're done.